we've been arguing since the since just the day after the fire that the whole system should be tested, not just the core of the panels. And those tests need to be whole system testing. And we're pleased that the government have now agreed that they're going to do that, or at least the experts have agreed they're going to do that. But those results need to be made public. So once the tests are done, they need to be made public. And more importantly, the results that are done by the private sector, which are subject to intellectual property rights, also need to be made but public. But they've done those tests before, haven't they, to pass these various tests and say, yes, you can use this combination because we've tested it. Is that right? Have they... Some tests have been done, but we are yet to see the results of those tests. The, the, the commercial companies that have those tests done are under no obligation to share those results with the wider have public. Have you asked them to share the results? We've asked them. To, I've also written to all council leaders to try to get them to insist that part of their contractual base is that those test results are shared. So, hang on, you have asked who private testing companies or the or the insulation and cladding the, the, makers the, the bre say that they can't share the test the results BRE are the, the, the british the labs, research the labs. It, yeah the guys who are doing the testing now for the government have said that they can't share those results because they're subject to intellectual property research. so so, right. so so quite seriously you ask the labs you want to know which cladding combinations are safe or, or stack up in systems and whether and they simply say, we can't tell you which one, we can't Be give you. Because the tests that they've done belong to the companies that they've done the tests for. They don't belong and so you ask the company then? Well, that's what we're doing now. We're putting pressure on through councils, through housing associations, through but, the Home but, Builders but Federation. But the companies, the companies will tell you. That they not, do they not just send you the results? That... Will they? Well, I'm, that's I'm, I'm, happy on, I'm happy on the basis of this news story tonight. I'm, I'm expecting companies will be rushing to tell the government here have access to all of our data. But I but you found them a bit slow and a bit lethargic. Well, in try and find somebody who's got access to them. The government have hardly seen any. We haven't seen any. Your, I'm sure your reporters won't have found any. Well, no, they haven't. And I, I, there's a there is a worry that the testing system rather than as a way of stopping unsafe things, has become a sort of system for, well, let's see if we can find a way that we can get this to pass. Is that, is that your worry? Is that I, my, my worry is that the public will never have faith in what's done until it's done in a transparent way. If, if we really want people to feel safe in a tower block now, we've got to be able to convince them that all of the information is out in the public domain. And for me, as a, as a council leader and as a representative of councils, that's the important thing. I, I'm not looking for somebody to blame. Mm. I'm looking for somebody to reassure the public that it is safe to be in those could, buildings. Could, I mean, presumably the government could just instruct the labs or the companies, you will tell us what the results of all the tests you have done. Are. I don't believe the government can do that because the, la the labs are run by charitable companies. They're not, they're not part of the government. No, but I mean, they could... OK, so emergency law or something, it would take, it would take a... a You'd need to talk to a lawyer. I don't, I don't know what would legally be possible for the government to be able to compel private companies state to of do. Affairs. It's not just the cladding, it's the insulation it's, we're talking about. Yeah, right? the, the, that's the good thing with system testing. It's now doing the insulation. We, we argued from the start that the insulation is almost certainly going to be a contributory factor in some instances. Not in all, because there are some really good types of insulation that resist fire, but there are some that like fire. And, and we need to make sure that the tests are, are encompass the whole of that system. Your background was in building, wasn't it? I used to be a bricklayer, and personally, I think all buildings should be clad in bricks and not in any <laughs> other material, but that's a personal interest. Thanks ever so much, Lord Porter. Thank Thanks. you very much indeed.